Yo guys, what's up? This is Kingsley from KingGovernor.com and in today's video, I want to answer your questions. Um, I got I got so many comments after I released this video guys, how to create a free online store with Google site with free payment gateway. So I have a lot of qu questions that I got so, so from so many people about um, how to implement some other payment gateways and I want to answer those questions in today's video. So if you don't know how to create this stuff, you maybe you want to create an online store using um, Google site which is free and you want to implement the free payment gateway so you can start collecting payments from your client. Then then um, you should watch this video we did here this is a video I'll leave a link in the description so you're gonna see it watch the video this video has detailed step-by-step -step, um, tutorial on how you can be able to create it and how you can implement the payment gateway so that's it so so guys before we dive straight into the video if you are new to this channel my name is Kingsley from kingobina.com and in this channel we want to talk we are talking about e-commerce how to make money online tech blogging and a whole lot of other stuff so you don't want to miss um so if you don't want to miss any content to drop in this channel so i'll advise you to you know subscribe turn on the bell icon and um so that we won't miss any video we drop in this on this awesome channel so guys uh we're, not, we're gonna dive straight into it right now i want to show you how to implement another payment uh processor that is not paypal because in this video i use paypal to you know you know implement this stuff so um so one of our subscriber one of our family said um you want to he or she wants to know how to you know use um a different payment processor and that's exactly what i want to show you right now so um i only believe you know how to do this like i told you earlier if you don't know how to do it use um i'll use watch this video is a link in you can see the link in the description you, so that you learn how to do it so after making it so all you need to know you do is to make sure you come to the you know to the payment processor so the payment processor are going to use is called paystack so it's called paystack so you want to click on paystack.com so i just clicked uh, i just you know open that so it's kind of loading up so you want to go to paystack.com so after um it's loads up if you don't have an account you'll be prompted or you'll be asked to create an account then after creating your account you're going to land straight to this dashboard this dashboard here this is my you know one of my account this is my one of my account okay so you're going to land straight to this dashboard and um, see what i was talking about if you don't have an account it asks you to create an account this is it so you just click on create a free account you just create your account and ask for details you input your details so after creating your account you're going to land straight to this dashboard and um, immediately you're here you want to do a few things okay you want to make do a few things so the first thing you want to do is to click live so that everything you're doing is going live okay so click on live you can see mine is already on live so down settled so now you want to create um um payment pages okay we want to create payment pages now there are different ways to do what i'm about to show you but in today's video we want to be we want to keep it as simple as possible we want to make it very 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 easy for your customers to pay you and uh, we want to create payment pages so when you click on payment page so what you want to do is to click on payment page okay so um i just clicked on it it's loading up right so you click on payment page so it's gonna bring to you or it's gonna ask you um, what type of payment page you wanna create so I'm waiting for it to load up okay so I'm waiting for it to load up right now so yeah so after clicking on payment um, pages so it's gonna bring you straight to this um, interface and you click on add new payment page and you land here so it's gonna ask you what type of payment page do you want is it a one-time payment page or is it a subscription payment page or is it a product payment page so um, this is a new feature this payment uh, um, product payment page so you can create it to sell one or more products from your inventory so well, this is a new one uh, new uh, feature so I'm gonna probably st um, talk about this in another video because I haven't actually tried this one out so but the one I know is the one of creating a one time payment page okay so click on choose since we are selling um physical products so it's not gonna be a subscription or uh, payment um, page so it's gonna be a one-time payment page so we are, we are, um customers can be able to pay you um once 
so guys i want you to bear in mind that what i'm showing you guys is um is a free method is a free stuff you create the site for free you impede this payment page for free as well so if you want if you if you, if you have if you now have funds and you have you know enough money now you're making sales and you now want to you know you know push your business higher online so you want to make it go further you now i'm going to suggest you now use wordpress so i'm going to do a, to a new video for you guys about how you can now use wordpress and woocommerce to now start your professional online store but before then um, let's get rolling so you want to put your your name your page name here so your page name can be anything so i call it um cool store so i call my payment page cool store okay so this is cool store then the description can be anything so after entering the name of your store you want to enter the description so you can say um, quality handbag you know your description will depend on the kind of um, product you want to create this payment page for you can say quality handbag handbag okay so um, this is for SEO image if you want upload image no we already have an image but you can decide to you know upload the image of the same product but we already have it so i want to fix the payment amount on this page yes you want to fix the payment amount so you can call it whatsoever you want so um, let's say it's 40 it's from um, 2000 naira okay 2000 naira okay so that's it so you want to collect phone numbers of the on this page no Oh uh, yes, I want to collect phone numbers so that we know where to ship and um, to chat to the um, with the client and know where to ship it. So you just click on create. So um, after create, so this is it. It's gonna give you a link. This is the link, okay? So all we need to do is to copy that link. So we've copied it. You can also visit it. So I I would like to show you the link. So I have you know right clicked to so, you know see the link okay so see how the link will look like to so see what your customer is gonna see so it's loading up right so after it loads up i'll show you what it looks like so after so after that we've copied everything we've copied it and um we've created the payments page so you want to make sure um you want to create as much payments pages as you need like um if you're using the platform i showed you which is this one and uh, let's say you created about 20 products here so you want to create 20 payment uh, payment pages okay so that your customers will each one of the each, any product they, they click on they can buy it now i'm going to show you an option where maybe a customer want to buy two or more products what you can do because that's a question by um i've forgotten the name of the person that asked the question he asked um, what if the uh, if someone wants to buy two or more products so i'm going to show you what you can do in that scenario so this is how it's going to look like the payment page you created so this is how it's going to look like okay so you're going to enter the 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 customer now is not going to enter his or her name first name last name email address phone number then the amount which is 2000 naira, and you click on pay now so he or she can now pay with a mastercard visa card verb and um, you know you receive your payment in your dashboard then you have the person's phone number and email address then you can now contact the person and arrange for shipping or you can set the shipping um, description everything in your website here so that's how to create a payment page and after creating the payment page you want to add it to your store so all you need to do right now is to you know all you need to do is to edit the store right so just come to this add to cart button here like I showed you in the other video, I've showed you how to add all these things. So, like I told you, I will leave the link in the description. So, all you need to do is to click on the button and, um, you know, click on edit option. So, this is add to cart. This is the link. So, this link area, you're now going to paste that link you got from that payment page. So, you paste the link here. So, this is it. So, and you click on uh, update or save in any way. So, you see that added that link here so anytime any person clicks on this link he or she will be taken directly to that payment page where he or she can make payment and will receive their information and their payment so so let's um so that's how to do it so you want to do it for each and every product you have here so if you have a um, 20 product 30 products here you're going to create 20 or 30 um, payment pages you see it's not hard it's not so difficult so this is the free method okay 
um if you want to upgrade if you want to do something more um something more easier or something that has more features that is using wordpress and woocommerce i'm going to do a video about it to show you where, how you can do it and um, what is required very soon okay so i'm making that video i'm cooking that video up so it's going to drop soon so you can now so that's how to go about you know it so um the other question about you know what if a customer want to buy two or more products um the way you got to do that one is to now click on um maybe contact us okay so contact us so you can now as you contact us this is the contact details so you can now add um, that one somewhere so you can just say uh you can just take um embed or if you don't add it here on the contact us page because not every customer actually goes comes to contact us page you can add this on the home page as well so uh, you can add something something that is scrollable let me look for it right now okay um, look, let me look for it and show you what i mean so you can add um, okay um i'll get it now and i'll show you what exactly what i'm talking about so this is exactly what i'm talking about just click on this settings icon here so all you need to do is to click on this settings icon here you're going to come here so this uh, navigation this navigation bar so we want to make sure we give notice to our customer to show them um to tell them that if they want to buy two or more products maybe they see two three four five products they want to buy they should contact us directly so that we'll you know be able to process it we'll be able to process it for them ourselves so you can just you know so all we need to do right now is to add that announcement bar so it's called announcement bar so you just type it here um want to buy something like um wants to buy want to buy or to order want to order two or more products contact us then contact us then contact us so this is the um, announcement bar we want to add and uh, want to make sure it's is um is is in is in the same design as it has um, a beautiful design with us so you can also um add button to the announcement bar but i don't want to add button you can as well add link you can highlight any of this word here and add link but i don't want to add link okay so do you want to open the announcement bar in a new tab well you can decide to do that you can decide not to so we're going to add it to all pages so all pages so after that i think we've added it all we need to do is xr here so what it's going to do is going to add the announcement bar look at it look at the announcement bar here so um let me change the color so that it will be very um, noticeable and um so that any customer that comes to our website would see it immediately so let me change the color to green so yeah that's it so that's it and i can you know design it a lot more i can just you know oh the, cl the green is too flashy so uh, let me take it to maybe some kind of um red i think it's going with our website and um make the test bold just make the test bold okay so look at it so you can see it here i want to order two or more products i made a mistake in my spelling let me change that so look at oh, that is exactly what i'm telling you so you want to order two or more products just keep the notice bar here so that um, customer we know that if they want to order two or more products they can always contact you 
and you fix that for them so i believe you get something from today's video i uh, it might not be so 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 simple as, as it looks but you know that's a way that's a beautiful way to do it and remember everything we are doing here is for free you're not paying for any software you're not paying for anything at all and um, it's all free of charge and easy to use so you want to make sure uh, you do it the same way i actually you know show you so that you get um good results okay so um i believe you again something from today's video if you have any other question you like me to answer i'm in the comment section just drop a question and uh, i'll try as much as possible to answer you and um, i can also do a video about it for you as well so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification icon subscribe to our channel we need you to subscribe guys and i'll leave the link of this video to the, to the description of this one so that you can be able to watch it and um, understand how to create those platforms so i'll see you guys in the next video peace out